everyone welcome back to my channel side hustle seattle so first off if you're like why are you wearing glasses it's because i would crash without them but anyways um if you haven't noticed in 2022 there has been an insane amount of changes within the ron space right there's been new platforms starting platforms shutting down as we've seen in the case of a platform that i use platforms getting acquired. So if you didn't already know, I am dual commissioned in Washington and the state of Colorado. And for me, I have dedicated platforms that I use in Washington and dedicated platforms that I use in Colorado. And so for Colorado, I use a platform called Live Notary. Now I've done videos on Live Notary in the past. I've done a dedicated video on them. I've pretty much been using them since the beginning. And when I went to go log on to Live Notary, this is like a couple weeks ago, I got hit with the message that essentially said, and I'll put it on the screen somewhere, um, that Live Notary had been acquired by PandaDoc. And PandaDoc is now starting something called PandaDoc Notary. And essentially that Live Notary as we know and love it will stop receiving technical updates. So pretty much saying that they've been acquired, it's moving into a different direction, but the Live Notary site itself um, will still be there but there won't be any further updates on the site. There will be no technical updates. There will be no technical support. It's pretty much done with. So of course, when I first heard that they got acquired, I had a couple reactions, right? One, congratulations to Live Notary and that team for getting acquired. Being acquired is a huge thing. Hopefully it was under the right circumstances and it's a happy occasion and they didn't have to get you know, acquired for the wrong reasons, whatever the case may be. I'm hoping anybody who's involved in that is now significantly richer than they were before um, and it's reason for celebration. So shout out to that team if it is under great circumstances. But two, the second reaction is, what does that mean for me as a user of Live Notary, especially since it's my primary platform, right? Because for me, the way I hear it is when a company gets acquired and they say that they're no longer going to be doing, you know, having technical support or doing technical updates. What I really hear is, you know, we're going to let it self-sustain for as long as we can and eventually we'll probably shut it down. Right. Like I don't see them running both platforms simultaneously. Right. I think they're going to give people time to actually um find something else and use the platform you know in the meantime and figure out what they want to do and then they'll eventually pull it now i have no idea if that's going to happen for all i know they will run them uh, congruently or at the same time but that's probably not going to be the case so immediately i know two things right one i need to find another platform and two i need to make sure that i download everything from my electronic journal on live notary and put it into some sort of external hard drive or somewhere else because the last thing i want is for the platform to shut down unexpectedly and all of a sudden I don't have access to those documents because I have to store them for 10 years. And of course, I also don't want it to shut down unexpectedly and I don't have another platform in Colorado that I can use to continue doing business. So those are my main priorities right now. So when it came to figuring out which new platform I wanted to go with, it seemed most logical to just go with the platform that they ended up becoming, which is PandaDoc Notary. Now, I personally had never heard of PandaDoc before, but a lot of other people have. I'm pretty sure they've been out for a while. And I'm like 90% sure all PandaDoc is, is just like cloud-based document management, right? Like you can create POs and contracts and get e-signatures, et cetera, et cetera. And you can imagine if you're already doing online documents that require e-signatures offering notary or remote online notary stuff really isn't all that far off so from a actual like business perspective it seems like a pretty good move for panda docs to have and so i was like okay let me do some research see what panda doc notary is about uh see if it makes sense for me etc cetera, etc cetera, right and so i go on the site like pandadocnotary.com or wherever it is and i'm looking and the only two prices i see are the business one and the enterprise one so i don't see an actual like independent notary one those are the only buckets i see and when you're actually looking at it and you look at the price breakdown what it really is is you have your own like pandadoc business account for document creation and the actual notary part is just like a ten dollar add-on so it doesn't really seem like pandadoc notary is its own platform it more seems like it's just an add-on to what pandadoc's already has if that makes sense like you can't just have the ten dollar notary portion you have to have an actual like panda doc document creation account and then you can add on the notary report to it which i'm assuming gives you the kbas and uh, the digital certificate etc etc and so i was like okay you know that's interesting it's interesting that there isn't any sort of like independent notary section or whatever the case may be but i was like okay well i still want to learn more about it just to see if it's something that could be for me and so they do have kind of like a um a walkthrough of what the platform looks like when you're actually going through it um and like 
document form. And so I look and it looks like you, you're on the PandaDoc side itself. You create your document and then you kind of flip over to the notary side to actually finish notarizing it. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I want to get a demo, right? And so there's buttons all around the site that says, get a free demo, get a free demo. So I'm going to click to get a free demo. And I keep getting to this portion of the demo that says, enter your work email address. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm a work email address, but I have an email address for my business, but it's a Gmail, right? So I'm typing in, you know, my Gmail account and it keeps saying, you can't use a Gmail account. And I'm like, okay. So I like try a different account that has like a Yahoo, can't use the Yahoo account, et cetera, et cetera. And it keeps pretty much saying you can only use a work email. So you know, when you're like at a job, right? And it's like your name dot insert company.com like those are the only emails you can use to even sign up to get a demo and so i'm like well that doesn't make any sense right like why can't i just get a basic demo to see if it's for me so i email panda doc notary and i email guy guy is the creator of a uh, live notary i'm like hey you know i'm trying to see more about the platform i want to see if it's something for me um but i can't get a demo or even anything basic because it keeps asking for a work email and they pretty much both email me back saying that the platform is geared towards business businesses only. So it's geared towards people who have their own notaries in house. It's geared towards enterprises. It's not geared towards independent notaries. And that's interesting to me. Like maybe it's because Panda Doc is geared more towards businesses that the notary side is also get, geared more towards businesses. Or maybe it's like they rather deal with a few hundred companies than a few thousand independent notaries and it just gets too messy. But really what they're saying is I can't use PandaDoc because I don't have a business or I don't have a business email address. Now I can go and purchase a business email address, right? I can go through Google and get my company name um, as my actual email address if I wanted to, but it doesn't make sense for me to spend that money when I don't have any other employees under me. So it's interesting that they got acquired by a company who only wants to focus on the enterprise side. But essentially what that leaves me with is not that platform. <laughs> It leaves me at live notary as it stands right now with no technical updates or support. And my other option is not Panda Doc Notary because I'm not a business. So now I'm at a place where I need to actually go and find another platform. And I know that my time is limited, right? I know live notary is not going to be open forever. And so really my main concern is like, okay, let me find another platform right now and use live notary until I can't use it anymore. And then have another platform um, in the background. So once that one does shut down, I'm all good to go. You know, I don't miss a beat, etc. But I found that actually really interesting transition from being mainly focused on independent notaries to more business side. Um, but anyways, has that happened to you? Are you one, are any of you guys live notary users and have noticed this and kind of what is your plan around it? Two, have you been on a platform that shut down? Because as we've seen, we've seen one or two platforms shut down recently. Um, and what kind of, what'd you do? Like, what'd you do with your electronic journal? What'd you end up doing as far as pivoting to another platform? And just in general, what do you think about all of the different changes in the Ron space? Because there has been a lot going on from every different angle. And quite frankly, I think there's a lot more to come in 2022. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you about my current situation and predicament uh, and bring you up on the current news. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.